एवरीवन दिस इज इमरान परदेसी सर एंड टुडे आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग स्टैंडर्ड 9th मैथ्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर नंबर 3 पॉलीनोमियल्स इन पॉलीनोमियल्स टुडे वी विल सी प्रैक्टिस सेट 3.6 क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 फैक्टराइज द फॉलोइंग पॉलीनोमियल्स हियर इज डिफरेंट मेथड वी हैव टू यूज टू फैक्टराइज द पॉलीनोमियल व्हाट इट इज जस्ट प्लीज लुक एट द बोर्ड सी दियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज देयर ओके and how to factorize we know to factorize the trinomial terms right then we know how to factorize how to multiply the constant term to the coefficient of the square term right but this question is different can you see this is very much different but there is one one thing which is we have to understand that see this this term and this term is same like term see x square minus x x square minus x right okay so if this kind of questions will come in questions in that polynomials some brackets or some values are uh, like terms like so we will consider something over there see over here first i will copy the question as it is x square minus x bracket square minus 8 x square minus x plus 12 okay then this see this and this they are like like terms hai same hai so we will consider some alphabet any variable you can consider any variable a b c d a b m x y see here so i will consider this let let x square minus x is equals to a okay so now we will consider a here In, instead of this we will consider a see this is a Square minus eight. Okay, the here also it will come a plus twelve. Can you see here that this polynomial we have changed in this trinomial polynomial, right? Yes or no? Can we factorize it now easily? See the constant term we will multiply to the coefficient of the square term. Here the coefficient of a square is one. So you will multiply twelve ones are twelve, right? Then what is between? What is between there? Minus eight. So twelve factors. Twelve comes in which table? Tell me. Four two six are twelve. Yes, or six two are twelve. You can say six two are twelve. So this minus six minus two. Minus six multiply by minus two is minus two is plus twelve, and minus six minus two is minus eight. So this is perfect. So what we will write now? Just tell me a square. First term as it is. Instead of this middle term, we will use these two factors: minus six a minus two a plus twelve. Right? Now we will take the common from these two and from these two. So what is the common here? A. A is the common. So what is left? A minus six. Right? What is common here? Two six is twelve. So two is the common. first bracket only will be the second bracket okay 2 6 12 so what is the answer here a minus 6 and a minus 2 okay this will be your factors now what you will do a minus 6 but we have considered x square minus x is equals to a so we will write again we will substitute resubstitute the value okay resubstitute We substitute the value of a. So that is a is equals to what? X square minus x. Okay. Now we will write here. See, therefore we will write x square minus x minus six. Right. This is your first bracket. Then here also, instead of a, you will use this x square minus x minus two. Right. So here we will find out the factorization like this then this also we will factorize okay so first we will solve this okay first we will solve this x square minus x minus 6 so you will factorize this 6 ones are minus 6 ones are minus 6 and here it is minus 1 right it is minus 1 so factors of 6 is 3 2 are 6 see 3 Two zero six. Answer is negative. So bigger number should be negative. Okay. 
So this is your answer. You will write therefore C. First term as it is, middle term minus 1x. So you will write minus 3x plus 2x. Last term, constant term as it is. Now you will find out here the common terms. Yes, it is x, x minus 3. x is common, x will come out. 1x will left, minus 3. Here 2 is common because 2, 3 is 6. Whatever will be your first bracket, that will be your second bracket. So what is answer here? x minus 3 and here x plus 2. Okay, so this answer you got x minus 3 x plus 2. Now you will write this. This one you will find out. Okay. See x square minus x. This is, this is your first answer. Now x square minus x minus 2. Okay. What you will do? Factorize. Same like this. Just as you have multi as you have done the factorization. See minus 2 ones are minus 2. What is in between? Minus 1. That is 2 ones are 2. Is it clear? 2 ones are. What are the factors of 2? 2 ones are 2. Answer is negative. Therefore the bigger number should be negative. Now you will, you will solve this here. First term as it is. Instead of this middle term you will write these two factors. Minus 2x plus x minus 2. So first you will find out the common over here. x is common. x minus 2. Here x is common. 1x will left. x minus 2. Plus here it is 1 common. So what you will do here? x minus 2. So what is the answer? Which two brackets same? x minus 2. Which number is outside? x plus 1. So this is your second answer. Okay. Now see. We have to find the this. Multiply by this. So what is your final answer at last? First multiply by second that is what is your first answer here x minus 3 x plus 2 multiply by the second answer x minus 2 x plus 1 so this is your answer I hope you understood first we will see this question we will copy as it is these are the like brackets same so we will consider some alphabet any variable according to us then we will convert it into the trinomial polynomial. So you will, you will factorize, normal factorization will take place. Then a minus 6, a minus 2 will come. We will, there was no a, there was x square minus x. So we will resubstitute the value of a. Okay, we will resubstitute again, we will keep a value x square minus x. Then these two brackets will come. First we will solve this bracket by factorization. Then we will solve this bracket by factorization. Between them there is a multiplication, right? Bracket means multiplication. So first answer will multiply to second answer. So this is your final answer. I hope you understood. Now we will see the second question of practice set 3.C. Second question, second sum. Okay? Factorize. This is with different factorize, right? As I have said you just now. So what you will do? First you will copy the question as it is. X minus 5 bracket square minus 5x minus 25 minus 24. So, as I have said, there, there will be, if the question is like this, there will be something, some bracket will be same. Okay. So, here x minus 5. Here is x minus 5. No, but this can be x minus 5. How? See, here 5 is common. 5 ones are 5, 5, 5 is a 25. 5 is common. 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 25. So you will write this like, you know, this is x minus 5 bracket square. Take 5 as a common. 5 Take 5 as a common. So 5 will come out. What will left inside? x. And 5, how many 25? 5, 5 is a 25 minus 24. What you have done here? You have taken 5 as a common. Yes. So now, can you see first this bracket and this bracket? They are same. Okay, so now when they will be same, we will consider them any variable. We will consider it. This and this will consider it any variable so that it will become short to solve the factorize. See, therefore we will consider let x minus 5 is equals to m. We will consider any variable x minus 5. So here we will keep 5m. Here also we will keep m. 
इसकी जगह पर m रखना है इसकी जगह पर m रखना है सो इट विल बी देर फोर दिस विल बी एम स्क्वेर माइनस फाइव एम माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर राइट Now what you will do? You will factorize. How you factorize the constant term will multiply to the square coefficient of the square term. Minus twenty four ones are minus twenty four. Okay. Now what is written? What is in between? It is minus five. So twenty factors of twenty four. Twenty four kis table me aate hain? Eight three is the twenty four. See eight three is the twenty four. Yen Answer is negative, so bigger number should be negative and smaller number positive. So it is C minus eight multiplied by three. It is minus twenty four minus eight plus three is minus five. Okay. So what you will write now? You will write the first term as it is m square. Then the middle term place instead of this middle term, you will write these two factors. That is minus eight m plus three m minus twenty four. Now you will find out the common terms. Okay, what is common here? M. So what is left here? One M minus eight, right? M square means two M were here. One M is a common. One M left. Plus three is common. Three in three times table twenty four comes. Yes, three eight is a twenty four. So you will write three common. Whatever will be your first bracket, that will be your second bracket also. Three M and three eight is a twenty four, right? So which two bracket comes twice? M minus eight, which is outside M plus three. M plus three. Now we got the factors. Now instead of M, we will re-substitute the value of x minus five. So you will write re-substitute, re-substitute the value of the value of. Dear students, in first question, in first sum, uh, I have written substitute. Sorry for that. Please make correction. It is substitute, or you can write re-substituting the value of m. Okay, and that is m is equals to what? M is equals to what? M is equals to x minus five. X minus five. Okay. We will re-substitute the value of f m. And m is equals to x minus five. It means wherever m is there, again we will put x minus five. See, therefore it will be x minus five minus eight. M we we will take out the m and we will write x minus five minus eight. And the bracket is again here also m. We will write x minus five plus three. So dear students, here we don't have to factorize directly. The answer came. Can you see here? These two are like terms. See these two are like terms, so you have to solve. So what will be here? X minus thirteen minus 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 addition of number eight five is thirteen. Eight and five thirteen. Okay, eight and five thirteen. Now here X as it is minus five plus three plus minus minus five minus three. That is two. So that is bigger number is five. So as the number will answer will come in minus two. Is it clear? So these two are the answer. See x minus thirteen, x minus two. So this is the answer of this polynomial. I hope you understood how to solve this. Okay, very easy. Again, make correction in the first sum. It is re-substitute, or you can write re-substituting the value of m. That is, m is equals to x minus five. Okay, then you will put m plus x minus five. Then these are the like terms. Minus 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 addition of number x minus thirteen. X as it is minus plus minus five minus three is two and bigger number is five therefore minus two. So this is your answer. I hope you understood. Now we will see the third one. Uh, okay, very simple. See it is also factorize the following. It means this is a longer factorize. We have to make it short. How? See this two term, uh, this two bracket. This one x square minus six x and this also x square minus six x. So this on this place we will substitute something. Right, we will consider some alphabet to make it short. So first, you will copy the question as it is. C x square minus six x bracket square minus eight x square minus six x plus eight minus sixty four. Okay. Now what you will, what you see here, x square minus six x. See this one and this one. Like hai, same hai. Yes. So we will consider any variable. See. So again, we will consider let 
x square minus 6x is equals to is equals to x square minus 6x is equals to you can consider here m okay now use m in, in place of this and make it short so therefore it will be or is equals to it will be m minus see m square because this bracket square so with this bracket is equals to m and bracket square means m square minus 8 then here it is m plus 8 minus 64 simple now here it will multiply see m square minus 8 will multiply here that is 8m plus 8 8s are sorry plus plus minus minus 64 minus 64 okay see here m square 8m 8 uh, minus 8 will multiply to plus 8 it is minus 64 right now can you see these two are like terms these two are like terms so what you will say m square minus 8m minus 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 addition of number 4 and 4 8 6 x is 12 so minus 28 now what you will do factorize this is the constant term it will factorize here right here coefficient of m square is 1 so you will factorize it minus 28 ones are minus 128 what is in between that is minus 8 so you have to find the factors of minus 128 that is 16 eights are 16 eights are check over there 8 6 are 48 8 ones are 8 and 4 12 it is 16 eights are 128 okay but answer is negative so your bigger number should be negative and the smaller number should be positive so minus 16 multiplied to plus 8 minus 128 minus 16 plus 8 plus minus minus 16 minus 8 will be 8 okay now you have to write the first term as it is instead of this middle term you will write these two factors minus 16 m plus 8 m minus 128 right now you will find the common factors what is common here m so one m is here one m minus 16 right what is common here 8 because in 8 times table do you, you, have, you have seen here 8 16 are 128 so 8 ki table me 128 can come so 8 is the common now what is what is left here m and what is the first bracket m minus 16 so whatever your first bracket the same answer will be your second bracket now write the two the bracket which repeats m minus 16 and m plus 8 these are the factors okay now we will resubstitute again hum m ki value resubstitute karenge what is m value x square minus 6x so we will write resubstitute okay resubstitute the value of the value of m that is m is equals to what x square minus 6x so m place we will write this value again m ki jaga par ye value likhenge right so this will be x square minus 6x minus 16 okay this is one one bracket here also we will put the same that is x square minus 6x plus 8 okay so this is how you will get the two brackets now first we will solve this bracket multiply by second bracket same okay look at the board please see we will see here the first bracket we will write x square minus 6x minus 16 so what you will write 16 see 6 you will multiply over here minus 16 ones are minus 16 okay middle term is minus 6 so 16 comes in which table 8 twos are 8 to the 16 right so bigger number is minus and smaller number should be plus because your answer is negative so bigger number should be negative minus 8 8 twos are 16 minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6 okay now what you will do first term as it is x square minus middle term instead of this you will write these two terms right minus 8x plus 2x 
minus 16. So you will find now common. Common find out here. What is common here? X. So X1, X left. X minus 8. What is common here? 2. Because 2 times table 16 comes. 2 adds are 16. Right? That is plus 2. Okay? Then what, what is your first bracket? X minus 8. Check. 2X the 2X. 2 adds are 16. Right? Now which 2 bracket comes twice? Minus 8, x minus 8 and x plus 2. This is your first answer, okay? This is your first answer. Now you will take the second bracket over there. x square minus 6x plus 8. Now you will multiply constant term to the coefficient of the square term. That is 8 ones are 8 ones are 8. My middle term is what? Minus 6. Okay, so what are, what are the factors of 8? 4 twos are 8. 4 twos are 8. Minus 4 minus 2. How? Minus 4 minus 2 multiplying, it will be positive 8. Minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. So what is the answer here? You will write the first term you will write as it is x square. Middle term ki jaga par you will use these two factors. That is minus 4x minus 2x plus 8. Common common. What is common here? X. X minus 4. What is common here? 2. X minus 4. Check. Minus 2x are minus 2x. Yes. And minus 2 multiplied to minus 4 it is plus 8. Okay. So which two bracket comes twice? X minus 4. Which is outside? X minus 2. This is your second answer. Now, first bracket multiply by second bracket. Right? First bracket multiply by second bracket. So, you will write first into 2. That is what was your first answer here? Tell me the first bracket. First answer x minus 8. x plus 2. What, what, what was your second answer here? Multiply by x minus 4. x minus 2. So, this is your answer. I hope you understood all three sums. Okay, and then there will be some homework. Give me textbook, please. Question number, uh, very easy one. Question number 6 is very much easy. Okay, and question number 4 is also easy. So, you can solve by yourself 4th and 6th. See, I have written over here homework. Okay. Question number 4 and 6. They are very much easy. You will solve by doing, by utilizing, by considering like this variable. And you can solve it very easily. So thank you so much and best of luck.